wanted to do a video that I actually can't believe I haven't done before and that is a beach photo shoot get ready with me. So today Kane and I are heading to the beach and we're going to shoot our newest arrival for our Slinky Swim range and that is this colour here, it's Flamingo. So we need to go take some photos of it so we can put them on the website. And I thought while I'm getting ready, why don't I actually show you guys what I do because we do beach photo shoots quite a lot and there's a kind of specific art to putting makeup on that looks right at the beach while still actually having a lot of makeup on. So I've gone for a very glowy, bronzy, beach goddess type look, but then I'm trying to tone that down with some natural elements like, you know, adding some little fake freckles there. I'm not sure if you can see them. And obviously the wet look hair, really wet look eyes as well. So whilst there's a lot of makeup, it looks kind of natural and like organic and beachy. So if you're interested in checking out how I get ready to go and do a beach photo shoot, just carry on watching. <laughs> so this look is obviously very sun-kissed, very bronzy, shimmery, fake freckles, and then I've got like wet look eyes going on and also wet look hair. So I hope you enjoy it. Okie dokie. So I want to start off with a bit of a base and I don't need anything too heavy today with too much coverage because I still want it to look kind of like fresh and beachy. So I'm kind of going to work with my blemishes rather than against them today. Except this one situation that I have going on here. Honestly, <laughs> that one I need to work against somehow. But I'm going to kick things off and just use some BB cream as my base. This one is quite a pigmented BB cream, but it still kind of goes on like, you know, any moisturizer. So you can just kind of rub it in with your hands. And know it's just gonna even out my complexion a little bit. And I don't know why I like to do this, but sometimes I feel like tapping under your eyes can kind of like get rid of any puffiness that you have in the morning, because it like, I guess wakes you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's any scientific truth to that at all, but... Alright, this guy's gonna need a little more than BB cream. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is my brows. I'm gonna do them a little bit different to how I normally do them because I want them to be actually extra bushy and kind of beachy looking. So, today I'm gonna be using this little uh, palette here with one of these brushes. It's like a spoolie on one side and then like a little diagonal brush. But first thing I'm going to do is use this little gel pencil here and it's kind of like hair gel for your eyebrows so you can shape them in the direction that you want. It also helps this to stick to wherever you've colored in with this clear pencil. So I'm just going to pop that in all the areas where my eyebrows are really sparse, which unfortunately for me is like the entire brow. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with this spoolie and actually brush all of these hairs in an upwards direction. I'm not concerned at all about filling in these lower parts here. I want that bushy kind of island girl effect. And then I'm going to color them in. I go for the darkest color there. Obviously figure out which one works best for your brows. But I'm going to go pretty intense. And just as I'm applying that color, I want to just keep brushing through it so you don't have like big splots of color, but rather little hair looking pieces. Now I'm really not too concerned with making that look perfect, but I kind of want to eliminate the arch. So I think with this look, it's really cool to have like almost straight brows, like really moody looking. Now to secure that in and make the brows look messy permanently, I'm just going to spritz a little bit of hairspray onto this spoolie and then use that again to flick all the hairs upwards pretty much hairspray them into place <laughs> now i'm going to get started with my inner glow <laughs> so what i'm going to use is this really cool illuminator it's like a liquid illuminator by iconic london and i'm just going to tap a little bit of that onto my cheeks nose and also just a touch above the eyebrows as well Maybe a bit on the chin too. I'm going to get super glowy with this look. I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend that in kind of in those areas like your cheekbones, the side of your head. 
Now you can go pretty nuts with this because I'm gonna go in with like concealer afterwards. So you can use that to pretty much eliminate the shine wherever you don't want it looking shiny. But you kind of do want a super glowy effect pretty much across the board. I'm like a metallic human. I'm gonna grab my Fenty pigment sticks and get this color here. This is the color that is too dark for my skin, so I use it for contouring. And I wanna go pretty nuts with this as well. So I'm gonna do that all around my head and just sculpt out my cheekbones. Bit on the nose to look really sun-kissed. Sometimes I do this here just to kind of and tuck away that kind of double chin effect. <laughs> so I color it all in dark and it just makes your jaw look a lot more chiseled. And now I'm picking up the sand color and I just want to color in my little necklines and then just pop this under the eyes. So this is darker than the color that I normally use under my eyes because I don't want it to look super lifted. Like I kind of want this to look a bit darker and more bronzy. So this is pretty much as much as I'm going to highlight under there. And then I'm just going to blend that all out. Now I'm just going to set a little bit over the creases with translucent powder. I definitely don't want to go as much as I normally do, but just on the bits that might crease, I think it's a good idea to still set it. So now I'm going to move up to the eyes and I'm going to pick up this color here called Bitter Start. It's kind of like an ivory white. I'm just going to pick that up with a, quite a big blending brush because I want to just loosely place that down onto the lids just to brighten them up a touch. And I'm actually going to bring that all the way to the inners of my eye as well. Now I like to fan this out under my eyes just to get rid of any look of dark circle that really makes you look more awake. So next I'm going to pick up this color here. It's a little bit darker. It's called Universal Delight and I'm just going to color sort of my brow bone area in like that. And with that same color I'm just going to chisel kind of the side of my nose a bit. I don't want to go too much with it but we'll add a bit of depth there. And now to the fun colors, and I'm gonna use Chloe Morella's Ciate palette. Oh my gosh, I've only had this for a couple of days, but I love it so much. I've already been playing around with it. And she did such a good job. And the color that I wanna pick up is this orange color here called Coco, and I'm just going to use that to define out my creases. It is such a cool color. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a sunset to you? <laughs> I'm then going to bring that orange cocoa all the way under my eyes as well. Okay, and then I'm going to take this copper color down here. Now this is a super shimmery color. And I'm going to tap that onto the outer corner of my eye. So this look is not going to have any eyeliner or anything like that. So I really want the eyeshadow to sort of speak for itself and look really spectacular. And that same copper color, I'm going to bring on the lower lash line. Just to darken down that orange a little bit. And then with my hand, I'm going to take this rose gold shimmer there. And I'm just going to tap that onto the center of my eyelid and not bring it all the way to the inner parts of my eyes. Just pop it there. And it kind of gives it that wet look effect. See how that looks like shiny, so it looks like my eyelids are wet? That's what I'm going for, like a mermaid. Now I'm gonna brighten up the inners of my eyes a little bit more, so I'm gonna go back in with that bitter start with a tight brush and really tap it on there. But that is not where I'm leaving it. I'm going to make them gold. So see this color here, it's called Halo. Doesn't that look like wet kind of metal? Looks so dreamy. So I'm gonna take that color and just tap that onto the inner parts of my eye. Now I don't mind with these lighter colors if there is a bit of like fallout with the shimmer because I want it to look organic and not perfectly structured. Okie dokie, and now to add some serious beach goddess vibes, I'm going to go in with this, which, oh, I don't want to tip it too much. So I'll just show you what it looks like, sort of swatched. See how that is just really beautiful and shimmery. I've got a bit too much fallout happening, so I'm just going to place that there so that I don't get 
so much glitter all over myself. So you can see I'm trying to lay that really quite densely on my lids and then I'm fanning it out to where my crease is just so that there's remnants of glitter going up there as well. Oh, I'm gonna have it all over me. Okay, so you can see I'm going for that really watery, shimmery effect on the lids. And then I'm just gonna go in with the brush that I used for my crease and just blend that out a little bit over there. Then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that with this little tight brush and just tap it on the under eyes as well, just kind of towards the center. Now I'm gonna go back to the face and get some bronzer going on because this look just has to be really sun-kissed. So I'm just going to work this all the way around my face, on my nose, and make everything look really bronze. And I'm gonna put some falsies on, but not a whole strip of lash. Rather, I'm going to take these little individual pieces and I'm just gonna place them messily onto my eyes. Now I'll let those dry, but in the meantime, I'm going to get this color of blush here. So something that's very kind of brown or bronzy in shade. I'm just gonna tap that onto the apples of my cheeks. And now for the fun part, I'm gonna highlight the bleep out of my face. So there's a highlighting palette here. I'm gonna go with this and this. So a bit of a golden sort of highlight. And the brush that I'm gonna use is this little fan brush, which is super great for these type of situations. And I just wanna highlight all of the high points of my face. So around here, I'm gonna go pretty to town with this. Now for my lips, I'm just gonna get this lip liner here and kind of overline it pretty dramatically. So I've pretty much only aligned my bottom lip, not really my top lip, just the outer corners of it, but that part I want to keep it looking highlighted. Now I'm going to take this ColourPop, it's actually like an eyeshadow, but it's got a really cool shimmery tone to it. I'm just going to pop a little bit of that into the gloss and a little bit of the more copper shade. And I'm going to go back in with a little bit of Halo. That's actually a touch too dark for me, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Fenty Sand and mute it a bit. I'm going to give myself freckles because you can't be the ultimate beachy babe without some little sun-kissed freckles. So, it took me a little while to find the right shade, but basically I am going to use, this little dual palette here has that color brown there, and I found that if I have freckles, I think they would be around about that kind of shade. So play around a little bit. Now the way I'm gonna apply my freckles is I'm gonna take this little eyebrow gel pen and just rub it in between my two fingers to get a little bit of the product. Then I'm gonna take this tight little brush and get that gel onto the brush and kind of make sure I twist it so that it's a perfect point. Then I'm gonna dip that into my brown eyeshadow and just tap away. <laughs> so with freckles, you obviously want them to look natural, not perfect. So the idea is that with some of them, you just do a really light little tap. Others, you might want to go in longer or almost do a little twist so that it's a bit of a deeper looking freckle. And even work on having some that are like closer together so that they're not all evenly spaced out. Now what you wanna do once you've applied your first layer of freckles is actually get your beauty blender that has a little bit of excess product and just gently sort of set these so that they're not so bright but look more like they might actually be under your makeup. So see how once they're like a little bit faded, they look a lot more natural. Then you basically go in with another little layer and keep patting it down so that you've got some that are kind of way more faded into your skin and look like they're under your makeup and some that are a bit more obvious and protruding, I guess. Now I'm just gonna do one quick brush with the illuminator on top of that again. So I don't pat out too much of it with my beauty blender. And that is the makeup look done. Now what I wanna do with the hair is the easiest thing ever, but it looks so perfect for a beach photo shoot. So I'm gonna start by clipping in my Luxie extensions. 
and then I'm gonna gel it like crazy. So what I'm going for with this hairstyle is the effect that I have literally just walked out of the water. So pretty much a wet look effect. Now I'm just gonna clip the extensions at the back. I'm not gonna worry about the sides because I'm going to kind of slick everything backwards. So I don't want the clip-ins preventing me from doing that. So I've clipped in as much as I need from an extensions perspective and I just want to tease here a little bit so I've got that volume towards the crown of my head. And now I'm going to go with a power gel <laughs> and get a whole bunch of it and slick it through my hair. And through the mid lengths and ends, I'm gonna go with this product here. It's called Sleek and Shine. It's kind of like an oil slash anti frizz serum. So I'm getting super gooey here and I'm just gonna like wet all of this. And there we go. So that is the look. Now the cool thing is this hair will basically just look like that all day. So it's gonna look like I've just freshly walked out of the ocean and I just, <laughs> happen to have a super glowy face while swimming. So this is a really, really cool look for a photo shoot. Oh, I have one final tip. Now, obviously for bikini and beachwear photo shoots, a lot of people like to put some oil on them or something so that their body looks like shimmery and shiny. But I actually prefer this. It's a product that is like a body illuminizer. And excuse me. I like to just rub that on my collarbones, on my shoulders, and kind of almost all over my body. <laughs> and see how that has like a really oily effect? It comes up amazingly when you're taking photos because it just kind of like catches the light. So that is my look for today's photo shoot. We're gonna head to the beach. It's a beautiful day outside, so I'm really excited. And I think this is gonna look really cool because the color that we're shooting today is like a peachy flamingo color. And I think it's gonna come up amazingly with these bronze golden vibes. So you can see that the final look, because you don't have like eyeliner or anything, it has a natural vibe to it, despite the fact that I have so much makeup on. <laughs> but I've given myself like, you know, little freckles I've got some nice lashes going on and lots of highlighting lots of bronzing so that if you kind of like pop a collarbone and stuff it just really catches the light and this hair is just so easy to manage it doesn't really matter if it's a windy day or anything you can just be like boom hair's fine <laughs> so I'm off to shoot check out the photos on my Instagram and please do give them a like I would highly appreciate that if you like this video as well let me know in the comments down below and if there's anything else like along these lines that you want to see I would love to hear feedback from you as always and for now I'm gonna go shoot so love you see you guys next time bye, bye.